Hey everyone, it's me, Jacob Rewind, and uh, my room looks like this currently. Please hold! I'm... But anyways, I got another edited Monster Camp VOD here for you. This one ended up being a little kooky. There's, uh, there's a few edits that I'm proud of, as has been routine through... Uh, all of these, they've all got one, two, or three, or even six edits that I'm really proud of. And this one has that. It also ended up being the VOD, the edited VOD with the shortest runtime out of every single one I've done so far. But also, I somehow managed to squeeze three playthroughs in. There's one playthrough that's the big focus, but then I did squeeze two more, like, super condensed playthroughs into the one video which you now are about to watch, I hope, and enjoy, I know! So, uh, please enjoy watching the video. If you are watching this the day it was uploaded, which is Monday, that means that I am live on Twitch right now, playing Monster Camp, as I will continue to do until I decide that that's not what I'd like to do. Um... This is the closest to the deadline that I've left one of these VODs. I uh, am filming this at 3.14 a.m. on the Monday that it is going to go up. Uh, I'm not going to make a habit out of that. I would much rather make a habit out of uh, finishing them early. But um, got up to some exciting stuff this week. Uh, the Book of Bill came out. That was a pretty big freaking deal. Don't know if you were there for that. And also Deadpool and Wolverine was fantastic. And if you want to hear me yap about more of this stuff, come on over to twitch.tv slash Jacob underscore rewind. Other than that, I will see you at the end of this thing we call a video. And please remember to be kind. That's the outro. This is the intro. Please remember to watch vid. How do I start this newfangled technology? I think it's called the G spot. I'm pretty sure they call it the. Is it? Is it seriously? It's that noticeable? Just like, like, just like that. Wow, that's sick. But yeah, it's this. Um, Logitech has an official kind of like driver thing called the G spot. I don't know why they called it that. That seems rather foolish. But you go on line into your browser and you type in gspot download and then you uh download the gspot and you click a couple tabs enable a few settings and then your webcam looks great and you can move all the way around as much as you want and everyone loves it it's nice so you know um so i'm always looking to get better so i tried some new stuff for the audio setup and i guess let's see how this sounds. I turned the game audio down a little bit. And I turned the game audio down a little bit. And I found just listening to it. Just listening to it. All I'm doing right now is listening to it. I'm just listening to it right now. All I'm doing is listening to it. I'm listening to it right now and I'm just listening to it. All I'm doing is listening to it. I'm listening to it right now and This sounds good to me. To me, what I'm listening to if you're hearing what I'm hearing. Now of course you're not hearing exactly the same thing as what I'm listening to. Of course you're not hearing exactly the same thing as what I'm hearing. I can hear the my own voice in the room, right? Like, and there's I nothing I can do to fix that. I like, 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 no matter what, I'm gonna be able to hear the sound of my own voice over my headphones. I feel like no matter how noisy they are, you're gonna be able to hear that. Like, the thing is, no matter how noisy they are, you're gonna be able to hear that. And I'm listening to the stream right now, and everything that I'm hearing sounds phenomenal, fantastic now, and it's making me feel pretty happy. So I don't think there's anything that I have to change, and I think that everything's perfect. So what do you think? Do you think there's any possible improvements to be made whatsoever? Because I thought that was seamless, flawless, but beautiful, perfect. Wouldn't change a thing. Oh, it's time to ask the eight ball. Um. <laughs> so yeah, there's a new channel point redeem where you can ask the eight ball question. And Ace Man has asked the question, um, will Jacob redo this same bit next stream? I'll go ahead and ask, but uh, if you're asking me, 
My answer is, have you met me? They might as well call me Jacob Repeat. Uh, all right, 8-Ball. Will I, Jacob Rewind, redo the Tazon Day Echo bit next stream? Show me. Uh, go. Oh, oh! Last second adjustment. Very doubtful. It's very doubtful. So you heard it here first. It is. In, it is quite unlikely. Well, it is quite unlikely. The eight ball, at least, doubts. Not maybe not lies. It's not necessarily a lie. They're just airing their doubt. They're airing doubt that I, Jacob Rewind, will do the Tazon Day bit again in the next stream. Tazon Day bit again in the next the stream. The working Tazon theory bit again in the is next that in the, the next working stream, theory again in the is next that in the Tazon Day echo bit which is a occurring now echo bit will not occur now echo bit will not despite the fact that i find the bit incredibly comical and repeating the bit even more so comical and repeating the bit in the next stream the stream which occurs after this one the stream which the eight ball is doubtful that this bit which you are currently experiencing is doubtful that this bit which you are currently experiencing is doubtful that this pit which you are currently experiencing that's that anyway hot demon lady asking for a friend i haven't done a dahlia one yet so i'll ask i'll absolutely without a doubt do dahlia i'll do dahlia have i done dahlia before i start gaming oh right um have y'all placed your fucking pre-orders the book of bill is out tomorrow tuesday today monday tomorrow tuesday the book of bill is out tomorrow uh, i uh i think i'm gonna stream it i think i'm gonna stream reading it just because i feel like that would be fun and i want to uh capture my excitement and joy of uh reading it it's some fucking medieval shit here i'll pull i'll pull up so that i can <laughs> fucking die Yeah, laugh it up, buddy. Ha ha. If you're a friend, I'm happy to pirate it, it within friends. You know what I mean? Because here's the thing. I've spent enough money on Gravity Falls and its uh, related affiliations that I should be legally allowed to pirate it. Fucking... I, I bought the book twice for fuck's sake. I This is not a joke or a bit or a gag, and I promise I'll get to Monster Camp soon. This is not a bit or a joke or a gag. I have pr already purchased two copies of the Book of Bill. But yeah. So, the other thing is that uh, I was talking about how I bought the Book of Bill twice, and then I was talking about how it's weird... It's a weird coincidence that that's actually happened two times this month, me buying the exact same book two times. And it's because of this. The new, uh, do we have any Adventure Zone fans in the chat? The new Adventure Zone graphic novel, The Suffering Game, came out, I think, a little less than a week ago it released. But the thing is, is I've been buying these since they came out, like since the first one. So you can see my big old stack here. <laughs> These books actually are awesome. Uh, I think they'd even be good if you're not a fan of the podcast, but also if you haven't listened to the podcast, it's one of my favorite podcasts of all time. Every time I get to episode 69, I cry. And you think I'm joking, but also it's this beautiful fucking miracle that um, the show just so happened to be 69 episodes long. It's just a really beautiful coincidence. Anyways, uh, so these are my Adventure Zone graphic novels, right? But they did, um, and I knew this one was coming out, and that I didn't have it, so I pre-ordered it from Amazon because I wanted to read it and because it was on sale. Then it got here, and I realized, like, the moment I opened it from the back, the excitement of me holding it in my hands completely vanished as I realized I made a total fuck-up. Because this is the Indigo exclusive edition of The Suffering Game. One aesthetic uh difference you'll notice is that the uh the title is slightly holographic on the cover and it's like why did you need to do that because i've been doing that for 
every single one that they released since Murder on the Rockport Limited because uh, the exclusive content that they come with are, and these are actually really cool. You have doubles of the same three books. Hey, you know, you gotta, you gotta, you, the hoarder's gonna hoard. Um, the reason why I've been doing that and the reason why I had to do that is because after um, Murder of the Rockport Limited, they started putting these uh, exclusive trading cards in the back of the book. So each book comes with these four trading cards that you uh, rip out of the back page and collect. So if I didn't do this for the suffering game, I would have an incomplete collection. So it was worth doing. Yeah, I'm just gonna put that over the game. Just get that right there. Perfect, wonderful, beautiful, uh, lovely. Cause I don't have any alerts set up right now. So uh, I wonder, is there any other funny thing I can throw up? Have you ever even seen a better looking stream? Who else on Twitch is gonna give you a, a, a random sketch of Jacob Rewind Slender Person and also the Shiggy Wiggy up there? Who else is gonna give that to you? What's fucking game? Do you feel me? Do you feel this? Are you ready to game? Cause I'm ready to game. Let's go. God, my fucking damn, it's good to be back. It's good to be streaming. Uh, there is one of me, short game or long game. Short game. All right, here we go. <laughs> Star Sailor, is there a difference from the PC version and the Switch version of Monster Camp? I am so, so glad you asked. So basically, in the original PC release of the game, there is a drink referred to as toilet wine. For some reason, in the Nintendo Switch version, this drink has been rebranded as toilet juice. TLDR, never forget what we lost. Never forget what was taken from us. Hey, you forgot. All right, anyways. If you had one monster prom, one monster camp, one monster road trip, monster retreat, monster con, monster reverse, monster prom two, monster prom six, what are we doing with this shit? Dahlia. Oh, the art of war. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll do my default Dahlia voice. Whoa, you've read The Art of War, too, Dahlia? <laughs> that book is awesome. <laughs> I missed the way wars were fought in the 5th century. I accidentally closed out of Twitch, lol. Uh, <laughs> it's fine. Soldiers back then knew that dying on the battlefield was the most noble way to go. Nowadays, they're all obsessed with safety regulations and returning home to see their loved ones. <laughs> what a bunch of bullshit. Uh, so annoying. Not you, Dahlia. Anyone who's read the OG Art of War is a friend of mine. Uh, my fun is dumpster. I need to up my fun. We're fucking monster gaming right now. War. The enemy team manages to capture the northern section of the lake, but you take a few of their members hostage and learn their empire's weaknesses. Uh, you lead a full-scale infiltration. Thousands of soldiers get totally soaked. Did I shoot anyone in the ear? Afterwards, you're chilling in the lake, enjoying a rare moment of peace and quiet, which is quickly ruined by a freak rainstorm. No, wait, not a storm. You realize you were just splashed by Dahlia, who appears to be flailing like crazy and fighting something at the other end of the lake. You get over there to see what's up, but before you can say anything, she accidentally slams into you. Dahlia, a ah! uh, Wait, what, is, what does Markiplier sound like when he screams? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, Dahlia! You're lucky I realized it was you before I unleashed my aquatic Aquino rage upon you. What are you doing here anyway? That's the question you came here to ask. Best ah, summer? yes. I'm on my mission to have the best summer ever! It's like normal summer, but better and more! Yeah, that's the thing. Um, 
Thank you for the impression compliment. I have been doing Markiplier since middle school. Um, the the first big character I parroted, the, the, the Jacob Rewind voice acting pipeline starts with Alex Hirsch, no brainer, and then it starts with uh, Stamper, and then it gets into Markiplier, and then it just goes into realizing that I can kind of try my best to parrot whatever I hear. So today I'm here because everyone knows that laking is like one of the most quintessentially summary things in the world. You're right. <laughs> All I need to do is have the best water technique and then I'll be queen of laking. Aww. Hmm. You're looking at me very confusedly. Not sure where I lost you. Hey! Got some water to punch. She indeed does just that. Dahlia's logic may be a bit insane, but it's kind of adorable watching her fling her arms around and make silly noises in the water. Maybe if you can help her improve her master water technique, she'll be impressed with you and ask you for advice on the whole summer fling thing. Um, God, it's almost been an hour and we're not even one event through. Ah, oh, man. Also, speaking of Undertale, I've been playing Undertale Yellow. Oh, yeah! That's the fan game that's all about the yellow heart and it's like Western vibes. I, I would actually be open to checking that out on stream or just as a video, but because that game looked cool. You need a defensive water technique to stop all the thieves trying to use Super Lake Throne. The water... <laughs> Uh, the best technique isn't fighting the water, but becoming the water. Oh, is this the origin of Dahlia Bucket? Bucket Dahlia? Bucket Dahlia? Top and bottom text? Um... The watermark, that might be... S Try becoming the water, dude. You mean... Using the Wonder Twins magic rings? Uh, no, not at all. You were just offering some shallow, feel-good advice. Do you have them? Do you have the rings? Oh. Well, actually, yes, you do. <laughs> you and your friends got them from a fantastic, unforgettable adventure. The adventure of eating cereal and finding the rings in the box. Now you use their nearly unlimited powers to solve the dumb, absurd situations you get yourselves in in order to, in, in order to get laid. <laughs> Just like the Wonder Twins probably intended. Whoa! Best day of my life! Come on, Dalia, let's do this! Twin powers? Wonder Twin yeah. powers, activate! Shape of water. Form of uh, a very sexy stingray. From a bucket of yeah. <laughs> Dahlia bucket, Dahlia bucket, top and bottom text. Oh hell yeah. Uh, it's pretty awesome. The visuals are amazing, and the animation is on point. Yeah, awesome. Dahlia bucket, Dahlia bucket, top and bottom text. <laughs> yes. Holy crap! I'm a bucket of water. This is awesome. So, has this solved the situation? Is the lake defeated? <laughs> <laughs> what? Who cares? I'm a bucket of water! <laughs> oh, and you don't look half bad yourself, Dalia. Those weird stingway flaps really complement your figure somehow. Man, I can't even remember what we were supposed to be doing. This is just too cool! Best <laughs> yeah, by the way, Smiling Friends and Zach Hadel and Michael Cusack are actually fucking scumbags because they actually stole the entire premise of their end of their finale of season two from this. Dahlia is also originally voice acted by Dana Snyder, so it's kind of fucked up. <laughs> I'm, I'm picturing the shot. <laughs> Gentlemen, this is a bucket. Dear God, there's more. No. And they like look over the bucket and it's Dahlia's face in the bucket of water. Dylan, I give you the pass. You can make a homestuck joke if you'd like. But don't say don't make a homestuck joke again or else you'll get like auto mod timed out. I give you the homestuck pass. Go ahead, let your let your homestuck flag fly. You freak of nature. Uh <laughs> so is she like the entire ocean or like just the wave? <laughs> Ooh, I have an idea, Dalia. Spill me in the lake. Oh god, I think this actually might be. Spill me in the lake, and then, uh, I don't know. I guess you can swim in me. Haha. <laughs> okay, you are not saying no to that. You spend the rest of the day being a very sexy stingray while swimming through Dahlia, which is not much different than just swimming, but it sounds very hot anyway. You gain two fun and one charm. All right, good opening. Good opening. Good opening. Me when I'm reviewing a television show that I like. 
Later, you find Dahlia punching a rock. This would normally be pretty standard, but you realize her expression has a shade of sadness. You ask, you go ask if she's okay. She's not. Hey! Oh, hi, Dahlia. You must be wondering why I, Dahlia Aquino, am not in my usual cheerful disposition. Uh... I know you all expect me to keep morale high, as I am the unquestionable leader of this camp army of ours. You have literally never seen her as that, but you're not about to interrupt her. Best you see, I've been ever. lately enjoying the many pleasures of summer as I get closer to my goal of having the best summer ever. <sighs> but might all these pleasures be making me weak in the process? I've been so focused on summer when before my only season used to be conquest season. I think we all know what the problem is. It's Damien! Uh. Yeah, my whole thing used to be Damien's rival. My whole thing used to be being Damien's rival. Conquering the 8th circle of hell and all that. But summer camp has opened my eyes. Damien is, like, super lame. That idiot has zero survival skills. I saw him checking a tree's bark to find the nearest McDonald's. He's the silverest of the silver spoons. It's disheartening. I cannot see that wimp as a rival anymore. But a healthy rivalry is an essential part of a warlord's structure to remain strong. I know this because I've watched all kinds of informational documentaries on being strong, such as Dragon Ball and Naruto. I think one of those was even filmed by Michael Moore. So I got worried that I would become weak by having no rival. I started punching this rock in the hopes that we'd become sworn enemies, but it's not working. You tell Dahlia that you'll become her rival, a rivalry to remember. Aww. Nah, you're just saying that so we can build some sort of sexual tension. So I don't blame you. Anyone would leap at the chance if it meant they'd get a spoonful of this buff, beautiful blue bod. But enemies to lovers sounds more like more of an Arabi or a Joy thing. Not my jam, though. Sorry. That's gotta be the dream, right? To be the headcanon voice of a character? <laughs> I like Home Star. <laughs> What's your favorite Jacob Rewind stream? I like the one where Telerium talks about Homestuck a lot. Dahlia is such a real one, dude. I go back and forth on Dahlia. I think her kid. I like her more than Joy, without a doubt. I don't think she was the right play for a romanceable option in camp. I don't know. I get bitter about camp, but uh, I don't think I should project that bitterness onto Dahlia. I thought she was great in second term. I think she was perfect for second term. Camp. I don't know, not so much. Whatever. Um. That sucks. But if Dahlia's not into sexual tension with rivals, maybe she's into into intimacy, trust, and eventually sexual tension with good friends who help her in an hour of need. Uh, don't overthink it. Jump head first into it, punch the first person who crosses your path, and let rivalry blossom over blossom. <laughs> Cherry blossom. Uh, I think the Markiplier voice is helping a lot. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, you surpassed Damien's level by far, but what if you had a rival that was a horrible creature made out of 14 Damien's? That may level the playing field. What are we thinking? Uh, punch the first person. Charm fun boldness. Damien creature. Smart fun creativity. I'm gonna do the top one. Here's the thing, I think there might I think this might be higher stakes than I'm realizing because me thinks this could potentially be the beginning of a secret ending, but that's the thing is I haven't even I, I don't have every ending super duper memorized. I don't think it is. Um don't overthink it! Rock and roll. Dahlia takes your word for it. When she hears some footsteps at her back, she punches before even looking. Show me art of a cool character. But the punch is stopped in a very anime way. It's it's a very athletic water nymph. Their eyes lock. Okay, it's a water nymph. It's like uh I'm trying to think. What's, uh... Oh, what is Vanessa from fucking Phineas and Ferb sound like? I can see just what you're doing, and I know that it ain't right. Hey, you. You have no right to punch that rock. That rock was my rival. Dahlia is smitten, but not romantically. Somehow, you can tell she's smitten in a very platonic rival way. They have a hella anime fight! Punches are thrown! Punches are Kick thrown! You. Kicks! Punches are thrown! Kick of the foot! 
Techniques are used. Starfinger. They even shout the names of their attacks out loud. Mahakanpo Sapo! I don't know what that means, but I'll do it. Hadouken! Kick of the Rising Salmon! The nymph screams while throwing the sickest kick ever. Whoa! Be back? Yeah, we should be back. Whoa! Well, I totally named my techniques too. Uh, uh, Headbutt of the Rising Dahlia! What else even would it be? I think this could almost be done, possibly. Please don't make me do any more anime poses. Um, microphone's back where I want it. Sat in my chair, do it. That's also a bit. Fuck you, game! I'm not redoing that! But who are you to judge? Looks like a headbutt to me! Uh... You... You're not half bad. <laughs> Barbecue chicken burger. <laughs> oh no, didn't you hear? They're releasing- they're, they're releasing the barbecue chicken burger in the next, uh in the next season. So if you buy the, uh, if you buy the season's pass, you'll get the barbecue chicken burger. And then the barbecue bacon bacon is, uh, is like an extra skin that you get if you buy the whole pass. So you can buy barbecue, barbecue chicken burger, but if you buy the pass, you get the skin for uh, barbecue bacon bacon. So it's like kind of worth it. Anyways, I think I'm done doing poses now. Ugh, that was fun. I like that. You're not bad either. The name's Dahlia. Nice to fight you, Dahlia. I'm Daphne. Daphne the Nymph. Hmm. I'll admit, that rising salmon was kind of cool. But I could beat it in a heartbeat, you know? Ah, sure. And that headbutt of the rising Dahlia. I must admit, I've never seen a headbutt done with your leg. <gasps> so, you know... We could, like, totally fight any other day. Not that I care. No, no, me neither. But... I mean, I'm free on Wednesdays. And fighting you would be better than doing nothing if you're not like busy fighting anyone else. Uh... Nah, I lost my rivalry recently. It's a funny story, nothing important. What? Me too, girl. Okay, truth time. I was just testing that rock as a rival. My real rival moved on to a new story arc with a new more powerful rival. Uh... Your formal rival sounds like a douche. Word. My only other prospect was transitioning into the reluctant Sundere grumpy ally, but fuck it! I was born for the rival life. You're the saddest bunch I've ever met! Any of y'all motherfuckers ever be a Boy Scout or a Girl Scout? I was a- I was a Boy Scout once upon a- once. I sold popcorn. Uh, or popcorn! Uh, I feel you. My former rival moved on to the story arc of becoming a useless wimp. But hey, I only rival platonically, okay? I prefer to be clear up front. No, me too. Rivals to lovers is not my thing. It's all just punches and indirect self-growth. Anyway, this is my number if you wanna if you want your ass beaten any day. <laughs> we'll see whose ass gets beaten and whose ass gets eaten. I went to Boy Scouts with my friend who was with them in grade one and we painted rocks. Fun! Boy Scouts, man. <laughs> uh, sure, Dahlia, we'll see. And then she leaves in a way that's so epic that you can actually hear what sounds like a bitch in anime song. Let's seize the yeah, Dahlia's back. Thanks, Dahlia. Dahlia hugs you. The strength of her hug gives you plus two charm. And the intense J-pop in the background gives you one bonus. <laughs> I hope that's a secret ending. I don't know for sure whether or not it is. Because, hey, being on a secret ending path could be good for, for yours truly. We're at the campfire. If you've been around, you already know how this go. Oh, but Milo's here. Yeah, we'll voice act this. You're looking for a spot to chill by the campfire when you see two beautiful angels. 
Oh, wait, that's just Ali and Milo. Yo, what Something up? It's yours you. truly, Ooh. Editor Jacob. If you've been watching these, you already know the skinny, but I'll give it to you anyways. <laughs> so, yes, I did fully voice act this event. However, since this is an edited VOD and it's not super essential to the story, I'm just going to cut it for time. If you want to see them all, your option right now is to rewatch the VODs on my Twitch page, but they won't be there forever. I'd recommend coming, swinging by a stream yourself. I'd love to see ya. Thanks for watching and back to the video. Hell yeah. All right, drinks. Uh, you already know I'm using my skills because I'm full of skills. That weekend you feel like visiting none other than one. Yola! <laughs> you know, when I started making magical drinks, I never thought people would come to actually, you know, drink them. But hey, who am I to judge? Mm, I just can't do it. All right, folks. It's time for the gamingest moment of this game. Show me what we got. Flask Genie, I see, but maybe we're already on a plot line, so we don't need that. I see Love Potion number nine. Could be good. I don't see a stats smoothie or anything of the sort. So we lock in Love Potion number nine like it's nothing. Boom, baby. Yeah, the love potion number nine. <laughs> the right way to get somebody like you is by being yourself and finding someone with whom you can match. But the best way is by drinking this drink. Almost made me feel something. Bam. Still hard to believe you drank that. Yay! I'm gonna go to the manor. I'm gonna up my boldness. Oh. Oh. Nice. Okay. I don't know if I have a secret ending locked down here. It's what? The campfire and then two. So unless that first one was a secret ending, if I don't get something here, then it's just going for the prom ending. Scout HQ. Lock it in. There's nothing you like more than being helpful. Parentheses provided it is in turn helping you find your summer honey. Parentheses. So it's no surprise you find yourself aiding Dahlia in the collection of another scout badge. I'm here to save the All right, day. Dahlia, hold the megaphone right there so I can scream into it and still have my hands free for powerful gestures. <laughs> Let me know if you have any tips for being louder. I really want this badge. Deep breath. And... Since the 1950s, around 8.3 billion tons of plastic have been produced worldwide and only 9% are recycled. Plastic kills millions of birds and animals a year, while poor air quality is a huge contributor to human fatalities. By the year 2050, the amount of plastic in the ocean will outweigh the total number of fish. Miss Aquino, why are you interrupting this lovely... Whose voice is that? This lovely day. Oh, that's Moss Man. Um... Miss Aquino, why are you interrupting this lovely day at Camp Spooky with your incessant screaming? This time. Let's get some oh, Camp Director Miss Weaving. I was absolutely engaged in the camp sanctioned pursuit of scout badges. <laughs> Today I'm trying to get the badge for noise pollution. So I'm screaming facts about pollution as loudly as I can. Miss Akina, the noise itself is the pollution. You don't need to be making noise about pollution. All you've succeeded in doing now is distracting and depressing the camp population. When they should be doing fun things like manual labor. <gasps> Get the rest of mixed weaving. I am so sorry. I would never intentionally upset you. Impressive. As a strong female leader who is intimidating and scary, you are a role model of mine. Hmm. Yeah, Miss Akino, you respect your respect for me. Which is why I'm going to confiscate the thing you crave most. My approach. Oh, man. No, please take my phone. Take my face. Take anything. Just don't take your approval. Too late, it's been confiscated. You may have it back when you have earned it. Oh no, what will I do? I can't bear to be a camp spooky if I can't have the respect of a terrifying female authority figure. If Dahlia leaves summer camp, she leaves behind her possibility to be your summer honey. Luckily, you know the best way to gain Weaving's approval. Show your admiration by deploying some spider-like skills, knit a sweater with your butt, or become a doctor. <laughs> yeah. Uh, smarts. Charm or 
creativity or boldness. Yeah, I'm gonna knit a sweater with my butt, bro. Ooh! The only monster I know with a more powerful loadie than mine is Polly. Please, 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 oh god, please, oh please, I haven't heard Polly's voice in literally a decade. Uh, since she threw that ass in a circle until she reached glued heaven. You be my assistant, Dalia? So muscular. Just take the yarn and needles and put them between my muscular buttocks. No, I swear. Why has Polly abandoned me? I gotta replay Road Trip or something just so I can get like a big dose of Polly on stream. You do. It's kind of weird, but kind of erotic. Erotic in that you're close to touching Dahlia's butt. Weird in that it's because you're helping her knit with it. I'm here to save the Get me working, Miss Weaving! Check this out! I'm concerned to say the least, Miss Akino. But soon all her concerns are assuaged as Dahlia begins to ass knit with all the power and grace of Olympic figure skater Yuzuru Hanyu. Dahlia grabs you to steady herself as she picks up speed. And once again, you're into it because Dahlia's touching you while doing butt stuff. But yeah, it's still weird. Finally, Dahlia finishes and hands camp director Miss Weaving a stunning sweater emblazoned with the words, Forgive me, senpai. Oh. Please, camp director Miss Weaving, give me back your approval. I've been so lost without it my whole life ever since you confiscated it ten minutes ago. <laughs> I promise to never misinterpret that one specific instruction ever again. And the next time I mess up, it'll be something completely different. Miss Akina, I must confess, I am floored by the beautiful work you have done here today. And by this finely crafted apparel. You should be very proud of what you made today. I know I am. <gasps> you mean you're giving me your approval back? You've earned it. I look forward to your inevitable next screw up. Perhaps then I'll get your tea cozy. Impressive. Yes! Dalia, we did it! How could I ever thank you? Ooh, I know. Come closer to me. Closer. <laughs> Put those needles back in my butt so I can knit you a sweater too! She does, and it's the best butt knit sweater you've ever owned. It even has a heart on it, which you definitely plan on reading too much into. You gain two charm and one fun. Hell, motherfucking yeah! yeah. Do you like chocolate pancakes? I mean, I took love potion number nine, which puts me in a good spot, right? But my two options here, here are my two options. I get another heart up with Dahlia or I get a stat boost from Moss Man. Uh, heart up with Dahlia. Now I've got more hearts with Dahlia, that's great. Counter to that is that. I already took Love Potion number nine, which gave me a bunch of hearts with her anyways. I'm gonna sit with Moss Man. I also haven't done Moss Man a single time on stream Hello. so far. Hey, Dahlia. Huh? I was just in the middle of a date fire. with this sexy campfire, but I could put it on standby if you're here to share some juicy gossip. You're not. You just wanted to chill by the campfire. That wasn't a question or a suggestion. Give me some gossip or prepare to join the campfire. What? Is he pointing a gun at you? Gosh, this dude is in dire need of gossip. Well, you have some appreciation for your life, so let's concoct some lies. Um... Okay. So my my ideal thing would be bringing up either my creativity or my smarts. Nickelodeon trivia. Sentient Polly Pocket Doll. Type in the name of someone I admire. I mean, his new book is coming out. His new book is coming out. I admire the hell out of that. I admire him. I do. Wonderful! Thank you for sharing that with me. My murderous desire for gossip has been satiated. For now. Farewell, my fellow gossiper. Now, if you'll excuse me, I'm off to repeat the process while I spread your rumor around camp. Hmm. You there! I have a question. Would you like to hear this amazing rumor? Or do you want your life to end right here and now? Your friends are all craving some wild juicy gossip, and you're here to deliver. Your rumor is spread around camp and right time. I heard the weirdest thing. It's this guy. Um. 
And I am your middleest brother, Griffin McElroy. What is a voice that, like, Griffin... What's something that uh, Griffin McElroy has, like, iconically said? I'm trying to think of a Griffin McElroy quote. Oh, beans! I touched it! It's even worse now! Am I gonna die? Hey, has anyone told you the latest deets on Dalia yet? Wow. So, you may have noticed how Dalia is usually walking around with a Senshi Poly Pocket doll and a chain tucked into her shirt. I always thought it was just a dazzling fashion statement, but apparently there's more to it. According to what I've heard, the sentient Polly Pocket doll was actually gifted by Delia's good friend and mentor, Alex Hirsch, on their deathbed. No! The sentient Polly Pocket doll is actually imbued with Alex Hirsch's spirit, and it has lots of practical uses. For example, it smells delicious, it adds one AC to Delia's natural armor, and gives her plus four to her Nickelodeon trivia skills. Yes, it's true. So he's on during sex. What do you think about that? I don't think I'm ever going to look at Delia the same way. Four smarts! This is one of my lowest, so I'll take that. Last time I did this, I kind of got a little screwed by taking a gamble. Oh, fuck. Oh, God. I'm so stupid. I forgot that I was going to open up the stream by buying free drinks. The mode. Um... It's gonna add a lot of consistency to the run, but will that rob the runs of fun? Is the question. I'll ponder upon that. Uh, pros and cons, take a gamble. Take a gamble, I don't know. Use my skills, I could get fucked over. Um, in the last stream, I did gambling and it fucked me? Or no? Did it ever fuck me, gambling? Let's go gambling! Manhattan. Increase all locations' stat gains by one. That'd be better early game, but uh, here in the late game, I will take that. Yeah, I'll take that. I'll take the Manhattan. Uh, Manhattan! Yeah, I turned an actual location into a dream. It's so fucking concentrated that everyone has the opportunity to gain plus one extra stat point at every location. Yui! You'll be one with locations. Okay. Okay. So I guess now I'll find out if I'm on a secret ending route or not. Oh wow! Look at all those plus ones. They're beautiful. Um. I think creativity is the most important stat to raise here. All my other ones are pretty good. Now I'll bring it up to ten. Dude, I think I locked down a date here. Uh, you spent the day happily engaging in classic camp activities, arson, delinquency, fist fights, and now macaroni art. <laughs> All right, yeah, so it looks like there's no secret ending. That's fine. We will lock down a, a Dahlia date ending. Just might not be great for the VOD. Uh, so maybe I'll do another run after this and see if I can lock something in. Then he totally didn't do just one, but instead two runs of Monster Camp and got two days to see the meteor shower. Isn't that cool? Now you're about to see two edited VODs at the same time. How do I do it? No one will know. Why am I still singing? Wouldn't you like to know? Which book would I take to a deserted island? Calculester, Dahlia, Damien, Aravi, Nilo, Joy. Wow, weird that the person we wanted was in the last one twice in a row. That's an odd coincidence. Time to get back to the game. They have such... I'm so excited for that movie. They have such a great chemistry. Okay, anyways. Uh, break the ice by doing something unexpected. No way. Oh, okay, so it's not... There was a weird coincidence with this in the last two games, but uh, the coincidence is gone. Break the ice by doing something unexpected. Swear about your sworn enemy. Burp loudly. Just sigh loudly. Start taking selfies. Challenge someone to starting a duel. Send the okay. Calculester. Dahlia. Milo. Joy a I'm gonna keep it real with you, Chief. This one's kinda sending me. I haven't seen this one too much. I don't know everyone for this one. I think Burp Loudly is Damien. That's my guess. Obviously Cal. Obviously Milo. Could be a Ravi or Joy, could be a Ravi or Joy. Or no, no, uh, 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 Dahlia or Joy is what I meant. Starting a duel sounds more Dahlia. Sworn enemy sounds more Joy. 
So is Burp loudly a Ravi or Danian? And is Sai loudly a Ravi or Danian? I'm gonna do Burp loudly. Yeah. Spent a little bit too long thinking about that one. Three, two, one, and lock it in. We love to see it. All right, great start. Just a little fun fact. Prank masters! <laughs> Prank masters! With, With a Z! Z. Brad. I was gonna say escape, <laughs> escapade specialist, but that's even better. We're here to be your fake bad neighbors, bro. Polly already made a list of everything we need. One white picket fence, one roll of garden hose, and one bucket of fake mustaches. Why so many fake mustaches? There's only two of you, and you don't really need a disguise. Oh, I have my research, Damien. God, it's good to be fucking so back. If you took all the shitty neighbors in the world and put them in a pile, do you know how many mustaches you'd have in that pile? 1.6 billion! Whoa, fucking, oh yeah, Magic Mike is in this game. Fucking Magic Tree Man. Three, two, one. Fucking, fuck you! Oh, son of a fucking bitch. Damn it. It just didn't go up fast enough. It, if it went up faster, I'd have gotten it. What is the fantasy brew? Yeah, I was down focusing on stuff like fun and creativity was a bit frivolous. So I concocted this. Makes you focus on much more important stats. What? You're welcome. I'm thirsty. <laughs> uh, okay, so it's a purely aesthetic drink, but it's funny. I will take joy, please. Yes. Let's start a fire. Okay. Finally gather the courage. Hmm. What's that? You want to be my summer Welcome fling? Welcome to the witching hour. Spell, yeah. Uh, and you do make a great world saving sidekick. I might have saved the world. Yeah, boy! Woohoo! Okay. Uh, fuck, fuck! Oh! Ho 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 Masterfully executed. Show me Damien Meter your shower date, please. <laughs> gonna be my summer fling, Will huh? I? Master's you crazy survival. son of a bitch! I'm in! Hell yeah. <laughs> You're cute as hell. Come here. <laughs> Damien, stop. I'm streaming. <laughs> uh, has anyone ever thought about the legit logistics of, like, like these streamers who go for, like, a long time? Do you think they have a piss bottle? Anyways, I'll get back to that later. I gotta pee. Let's go do the gun, come on. <laughs> <laughs> oh! Oh, this one's iconic. Yes, but our surrounding is just that strangely small square containing a background behind us at all times. I think we'd notice if there were a bear detected. Bear attack! <laughs> Yay. Yeah, that funny bear squeezed in the box is very funny. It's tens across the fucking board. I'm just going to go to the manor and... um. Yeah, put my boldness to an absurdly high level. Because everything else is at an even 10, and as long as I pass this, they all go up. I, I should have a date on lockdown, dude. But who cares about that? It's time you meet up with Dahlia. She invited you back to her tent for a bit of light Mexican professional wrestling. I got this one before. I got this one with fish, too. So this one might be boldness. The only way I get fucked if it, is if that one's boldness. Fuck it. I literally played it. I literally played it last fucking... N like this, not even a week ago, bro. So I'm just gonna check the fucking VOD, dude. Because I have that power. I am absolutely... This is the definition of cheating, what I'm doing. I mean, no, I it's not! I literally Gambit played this! So I'm just ever. basically checking my notes, Siri, essentially. Show Gambit in the chat. Yeah, Gambit. Show me! Alright. Cool. Alright, here we go. Let's go! Oh! Let's go! So the bottom one is smarts. Okay. Okay. The bottom one is smarts, I'll talk to a history book. Poggers! Uh, you hop out of the bath for a sec and attack your old world history textbook with a Sharpie marker. You hand it back over to Dahlia. Whoops. 
Sorry, microphone stand. I nudged you. My apologies, babe. Whoops. Sorry, to, microphone I stand. I didn't I mean to hurt you. you like that, babe. I'm sorry. It was my an apologies, accident. babe. Whoops. Sorry, microphone stand. I didn't, I stand. I didn't I mean to hurt you. I never like hurt you intentionally. I'm sorry. It was my an apologies, accident. babe. Anyways. Um. Hmm. Oh, you want to read now? I mean, I don't really know what history knowledge is to do with being an intelligent military. <laughs> Chapter 69, The Delia Wars. Um. <gasps> Even World War II is short for Will We, Won't We Have Sex With Delia. Because <laughs> fuck, Ganon. <laughs> oh, admirable. All right, dude. Dude, one bro, one, the last day of summer is here. <laughs> Show me a date with a buff one blue demoness. One, all join my harem. <gasps> summer fling between you and me. Best summer ah, ever. yes, a summer fling is an essential part of having the best summer ever. Look, I even have it on my list. <laughs> Let's check summer fling off my list Let's together. Oh, these two are cute together. The last day of camp was awesome. Uh, Dahlia designed a sexy weight living regimen to do together. It focused a lot on strengthening the glutes and pelvis. <laughs> Eight new events, seven new outcomes, two new special stuff. Look at those numbers go up. Hey, it's marginal. That's a dub, bro. It's a dubski. And go ahead and skip these credits. And that's another ending. Add it to the list. I've unlocked the community punch. And now, let's go fucking keeling it up the gallery. We got it, boys. We fucking got the fucking meteor shower ending with Delia Aquino, bro. Um. Different than Tequila Moonrise? Oh my god. Did they change the name of another fucking drink and I didn't even notice? Is Polly's Toilet Wine not even the only thing we lost? I'm gonna have to investigate that later. Because I'm pretty sure this is Tequila Moonrise, right? It looks like Tequila Moonrise. And I think they renamed it to Sparkling Moonrise. You have got to be kidding me.